What is up you guys? It is your host Galadon with another big Lineage 2 Revolution video, a huge update. Thank you so much to Netmarble for sponsoring this video because I am loving this game. I play it every single day. If you guys have not tried it yet, please use the link in the description, download the game, join me, let me know. I am Galadon on the Velakas N2 server and I'm in the clan Rogue Squad having a blast and exploring. Okay, this is the biggest part of this update you guys. The Magnadin Village. If you have not been here, if you don't know this place, you need to come. There is so much to this that it makes the game easier to play, that gives you all sorts of new resources. And okay, so we're just going to go over the basics of the Magnadin Village and I'll let you guys explore the rest. But the critical things are all found on the map. And let me tell you, first of all, if you're ready for a new look, head on over to the beauty shop. I'm telling you right now, uh, this is a great way to personalize your character. So we will go ahead and walk over to the beauty shop and check this out. You ready for this, you guys? Okay. Yes, you can pick up different styles, hairstyles, and it's more than just a hairstyle. You can go with a simple hair color, or you could go with a, uh, a pretty different mask. Okay, let's just say, you want a horse head? There you go. You'd be surprised how popular the horse head is. Uh, the Death Knight, very cool look as well. Angry Bear was my second choice, but I just decided to go with something that really said it was me. And as I'm working here every day, making videos, live streaming, I do find myself wearing headphones much of the time. So rather than going hardcore Death Knight or the hilarious horse, <laughs> I went ahead and picked up the headphones and uh, the distinguished older gentleman in the noise-canceling headphones that you might run into out there is Galadon. So yes, now you can go beyond this with this new update. That is just the beauty shop. You ready for this? Next, we can go over... Okay, well, first of all, you, you can dye your hair as well. So anything from the mild to the wild, I went with the gray hair, even though I, I don't have gray hair. Okay, I do not have gray hair. But uh, that is one of your many, many choices uh, anywhere from the, uh, I like the, I like the red though. I do like the red a lot. And uh, yeah, so we went with the gray hair. But okay, let's go ahead and go back and check out the next customization. And that is the costume shop. You thought the beauty shop was big. Look at this, you guys. Completely reskin your character. And this one you find from the menu system. Go to costumes and the shop and here you go. All right, so this is this is crazy, you guys. Look at the martial arts gi. A big fan of this one right here, although the headphones, I, I don't know. I also like the Royal Guard a lot. Knights of Light really stylizes your armor. And then the Desert Warrior. Uh, honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm undecided. I don't know which of these looks best on me. I'm kind of a fan of the Knights of Light. The Royal Guard as well, or the martial arts gi. Because, I mean, I, I study martial arts. I'm a second degree black belt. In Tung Soo Do, if you didn't know that, so I'm kind of leaning towards the martial arts gi just to let people know what's up. But you know what? We will decide later. Let's move on to another huge portion of this update, and that is a massive improvement to the enhancement system. Specifically for players working on getting their gear enhanced to plus 20. That's the number in the lower right-hand corner. We're just using a regular piece of gear here, for example. And what it is is right there, safe enhancement. Notice no Maffer's protections required. You can now safe enhance using additional Adena. And what that does is prevent that possibility of a loss. Remember, as you get closer and closer to plus 20, you could lose a level if you fail an enhancement. Here I'm succeeding. We're all the way up to plus 16. But the safe enhancement makes sure that you don't go backwards. And check it out right here. As we try at plus 16, oh, Okay, I'm good at enhancing. What can I say? Okay, I'm just, you know, that's just me. Uh, but, okay, we'll try it one more time. Safe enhance. Notice it's a little more expensive each level. Getting close to plus 20. And there you go. A failed enhancement does not result in a loss of level. That's critical, you guys. That is really going to help a lot of players get their gear past plus 20. And uh, so I really liked that improvement to the enhancement system. All right, also another exciting update is, yes, a new season of the Honorable Battlefield. That is the 3v3 PvP. This, personally, you guys, is the most exciting part of the entire game for me. I absolutely love this. 
and I don't mind queuing up with randoms. Now you can of course go with your favorite team, your clan members. I can go with random players and have a blast. This comes down to timing. Okay, now the key, I'll give you guys a big tip right here. The all kill. If you can manage to take out the entire team, the third player in the team, before the first player respawns, you get six points. Now you only need 10 to win, so an all kill, a six point advantage is absolutely massive. This is also a great thing to use on defense. Stay spread apart. Don't let the opposing team take out your entire team at once either. And right here you can see we're facing the third player on their team. I finally get them down and it is six points and all kill and we're suddenly ahead six to two. But it's important right here that you remember that the opposing team could just as easily pick it up. Look at my health. I'm almost gone right here. So we're trying to hold on, trying to avoid getting taken out along with the rest of our team. So that's why I'm kind of cowering in the back right here. It is the wisest move, not always to just be crazy aggressive, but to split apart like this. Because with a huge lead, now we're up to 7-2. I'm just trying to stay alive. I'm waiting for that moment when I've got my abilities and I've got an opponent on the other side that's low. I can run in and grab them, hit them with a stun, maybe finish somebody off. So I come across, and here we go, another opportunity. We grab it, and yes, that's the victory. And I, I tell you right now, more often than not, this is how these battles end. Just stay apart, and then when your opposing team groups up, hit them with the big, massive Meteor Missile Bolt, and there you go. Lots of damage done, not a lot of damage taken, and remember you guys, you pick up these rewards. These coins are going to get you some great deals in the shop, so get in there for those 3v3 honorable battlefields. Again, I like to go alone. I mean, you know, if you've got two friends with you, definitely go. If you want to find me on a night of honorable battlefield, I will definitely join you. And, and I don't mean alone. Remember, it's 3v3. Don't try going by yourself. It doesn't work that way. Okay, I wanted to show you guys a couple more things in the Magnadin Village that are amazingly cool. Now, this is a huge one. Storage. Not only personal storage, but account storage. So let me go over the two briefly. So you're going to have a limited number of slots. You can buy more slots, but this works out really well. If you're like me, you're holding way too much stuff. I've got a lot of proof of bloods. I've got a lot of red star stones and runes, all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to put some of those in personal storage. That is just for my one character. Now, account storage is different in that if you've got non-soul bound items, that means items that have the little blue diamond on them in the corner. Those are items that you can put into account storage and trade between the individual characters on that same account. So if you've got an alt that's got something that you want to give to your main or vice versa, this is the only way to do it. You need to visit the Magnadin village and then go to account storage. All right, you guys, now also a couple of other important things about the Magnadin Village. It is a great way to get around. There are portals here that you can use to go to different parts of the world without using a scroll of escape. And there is a discount shop where you can pick up items like soul shots, potions, scrolls of escape, or the occasional crucifix of repentance. Just maybe if you've been out player killing which some of us do from time to time you might need to get some forgiveness and a great way to do it is picking up the crucifix of repentance from the discount shop in the magnadin village now last and certainly not least is we've got a new boss on our hands the rock the roc rock this right here is a release along with the arabic content you guys we've got the arabic costume we also have new servers opening in the middle east and north africa and we've got out in the plains of dion this guy and let me tell you he's tough now i took him on here without having a group and i'll just give you a, a quick hint don't give up, okay? In the beginning of this battle, it looks like, man, I'm never going to be able to get this guy down. He's got some very, very dangerous abilities and regenerative powers. You notice that it's almost impossible to get the, any hit points off him in the beginning. But wear him down you can with a big group. And right here, eventually, we do get through him. We take the rock down. Well, wait, where do you... There he is. We're going to take the rock down under 10 million. And finally, he goes down. New rewards await you as well. And that is a big part of the update, you guys. I'm excited. Again, if you haven't downloaded Lineage 2 Revolution, 
What are you waiting for? The link is right down in the description. Download Lineage 2 Revolution and join me for more full attacks.